Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I want to uh, thank Dave Zantow, uh, N9EWL, from his, uh, Dave's radio page, which is a page that is amazing for radio reviews. It's one of my favorites. Uh, we often have a very similar experience and look and feel on, the, on radios, and he's got a lot of reviews including transceivers that he will review as um, the um, you know radio receivers and so on. Do take a look at his uh, webpage. I will share a couple of links below, including his latest look at uh, the uh, Yesu um, FT991 as a shortwave set. Now, he um, sent a picture, and um, he um, actually pointed out something. So... This on the left and this on the right are the um, XH data or CUADON D808, the internals of each. So on the left side is the original one. The right side, you see it's the new one. It has less parts. It has some similar parts, but there's a whole set of parts that were actually left behind that not used uh, compared to the original. And um, as you pointed out here, this is shortwave front end filters. And this is mostly the biggest switch and the biggest change in the radio itself. Um, so what happens with this change is that these filters in the front end are what is actually preventing my original D808 from getting FM radio breakthrough. You know, I told you that I immediately noticed there's more FM breakthrough on the new version than on the old. Well, that's the reason why. The new version here does not have these. Actually, this is also something I wanted to mention. When a radio has adjustable pots like this, this is always a sign of a higher end designed for portable radios and radios in general because not only do you see more filtering because there's more parts but you also see that there's adjustments that are possible and that is always something that you want because if you ever need to tweak it's there and they're pretty much gone you know there's there's not a lot of it happening here so they took a shortcut and they took a shortcut either because parts uh, you couldn't find the parts, or they took a shortcut because they just wanted to save money, which is also something that might be uh, the case here. Uh, for the rest, when I look at the internals, the ferret ferrite rod is uh, the ferrite rod is the same length, looks pretty much the same. Maybe not, you know, if you look at the number of turns and how wide here the uh, number of uh, turns on the loop here compared to here. I don't know if it's the same number, but anyways, uh, there is, as you see, a difference, and that difference is where my FM breakthrough. For the rest of the performance, like I said, is very similar. If you remove the, um, the FM breakthrough, I don't see that much of a difference in performance itself. And of course, you did uh, probably notice, anyways, I'll have the full review on the channel coming maybe later today or tomorrow at the latest uh, for the uh, new D808. I have a few little things I might want to do. Like tonight, I'll make some videos uh, with some uh, medium wave stations and weaker medium wave stations. And we'll try to get some interesting stuff on the uh, long wave. I'll also compare it on the outdoor antenna. I'll do a little more outdoor testing with the MLE30 loop. Uh, to make sure that it doesn't overload more or than the original or not. So uh, you can see here, major difference. I want to thank Dave Zantow, N9EWO, for the uh, pictures. And uh, look at the links below to his excellent website once again. Totally worth it. If you have one place to go to check for reviews, uh, definitely uh, his website is great. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.